Hey everybody, Akiris here. Welcome back. Welcome back to the survival bunker. As I sit in the basement of an undisclosed location here in the Buckeye State. I'm going to pick this up here. And we are going to get started with episode number two. I hope this episode sees you doing well. What did I leave behind here? I'm just curious. Oh, just, yeah, I should have known better. Okay, so let's take a look around, see what I missed in here. Um, some of you guys said I missed uh, some items on the way in here, so I'm going to have to double check everything. Best I can. Oh, cooking pot, see? We don't want to pass that up. It's pretty heavy, but uh, and it does put us a little bit overweight, but we're okay. So, um, let's take another good look around here. Just want to make sure that I don't miss, like, a, a rifle round or anything like that. So, I guess I thought putting it to stalker mode would add the uh, the cleaning kits. But a lot of you guys were saying in the comments that when I put it to low resources, because I don't want to have like just be tripping over resources the entire time. When I did that, that's that's the metric that actually gets rid of the the cleaning kits. So, if that's the case, then I guess we're not going to have cleaning kits this time either. But that's okay. I'm going to take that with me because I don't think we're going to have hatchets or knives either. So we're going to have to craft those ourselves too. And uh, yeah, you know, I'll loot Mystery Lake. If I can't find any of those items, then I will know that I uh, basically am in the same boat I was in in the last series, which is fine. We'll just embrace it. We can always go to Bleak Inlet and uh, um, we can go to Bleak Inlet and repair firearms there. I did not know that you could actually repair firearms there. I thought you could just craft ammunition there. So, yeah, we'll do that instead. Head down there, repair some firearms, and go from there. So, little control box. Let me get my mind focused here. Just got home from work. Have a couple days off, so I'm looking forward to had to work this whole weekend. All right. Someone said, "Hey, use your spray paint on the uh, the lockers that you can't um, open yet." So I am going to do that. Let me see. Which? How do you do that? Is there an easy way to do? Oh, there's a hotkey for it. Doesn't appear to be so. So all right, we'll just have to go through probably miscellaneous items or something. Probably here. There it is. We'll use this. Um, Materials, storage, tools, clothing. Um, I think I'm going to say storage. So we'll do that. Yep, paint it up. And I guess you can hold down and like just do an instant paint. But uh, someone said, hey, do that to mark your lockers. If we go to the world, will it show? No, it won't. That's not what I wanted. Region map. I was wondering if it would show it here, but apparently not. Maybe I just need to put this on the outside of the door of the leading out to the uh, to the exterior exterior door all right backpack empty I'm just paranoid here did I miss a locker what was in here a book yeah I'm not worried about that okay let's keep going here um, you know what I am gonna tear this down real quick some of you guys were like I want to see you get well fed bonus Mm, no, that's not how you survive. You don't. You got to be hungry in these situations. Even if you have a lot of food, you save that for later. And even if the uh, even if the food goes down to zero condition, once I hit level five cooking, much later on in the game, I'll be able to eat those. So long as I don't store them in a container, otherwise they'll disappear. But as long as I leave them out laying about, they will uh, be able to eat them. We'll be able to eat those later. So yeah, you never. How did I miss these? Huh. No, maybe I was getting sleepy or something when I was playing. Cured leather. I missed that too. Huh. Was it really that dark when I came up through here that I missed all this stuff? Or was I just not paying attention? I'm guessing probably the latter. I just wasn't paying attention. So that's when I miss stuff like that and I see several of them in a small area like that, it makes me paranoid. Like I need to check everything again. So I'll do that. Plus walking at it from a different direction. Sometimes you'll see things that you didn't see the first time through. So just I'll just be careful as we go. There's no rush. We're not in any big hurry. We have plenty of food. Our big concern right now is water, but we have a cooking pot and 
I can start fires so we can make water pretty much as much water as I need right now with that cooking pot. Plus we have some cans that we could always use, but that's not the most efficient way. So this is the way I said I was going to come back because I first time I went this way. All right, where was, where was my pistol at? I wonder. Oh, 74% condition. That's good. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a lot better. So no rush to get down there. But what we will have to do is we'll have to get over to a forge somewhere and make ourselves a hatchet and, and a knife just so we have those because they are helpful. It's a big help that we do have the, uh, that we have the uh, hacksaw though. So that is a big, a big deal for us. All right. That would be a good spot for something right in there. All right. Let's head out here. I think once I make it out to the top, uh, right, right before I go outside, I'll probably do a repair on some clothing that needs repaired and just get those items so that they're not on the verge of dying. All right. Um, I normally don't like going out here because it's very tricky to get across. Well, for me, it is, uh, to sort of Spider-Man your way across the dam to get back in. Uh, the other option is to leave here and go to Pleasant Valley. But if we go to Pleasant Valley and there's no, I mean, we do have the pistol. Maybe we'll go to Pleasant Valley. But I kind of feel like we should check out Mystery Lake first. But we can always come back. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we go for Pleasant Valley. All right. Let me go ahead and do some repairs here real quick. I'm trying something different. Just just sort of mixing it up here. Uh, I could go for this, the sure, th sure bet. And that would be just to stay in my comfort zone. But I'm going to sort of push it a little bit here. So I'm not wearing that. I'm not going to repair that. Uh, I have all, what, all, what I want on right now. Because that is not... It's close to being the same condition. Maybe I do want to repair that. Maybe that is better. That's a downfilled layer. This hour layer, wind and water, has no real warmth value on its own. But useful when paired with a decent under layer. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I put this on here and then put this on underneath, like so. And then repair this one. We'll try that. We'll see how that works. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference either way. So let's let's try let's try repairing this stuff here. Forty five minutes. Wow. All right. And we failed. Let's try again. All right, there we go. So we're up to fifty one percent on that. Not too bad. I don't really want to spend too much more time on that. I just want to get these up out of the danger zone. So if they're yellow, they're kind of like on the uh, verge of like if you get attacked by a wolf could ruin it completely and then you're out whatever piece of gear that is hats are important gloves are important because they protect your exposed flesh or skin um okay well there we go we got this up to 74 at least so those are important to us um can i repair these i don't know if i can repair these uh i need cloth and cured leather for that wow I guess I normally don't repair these because I find something else better pretty quick. Uh, if we're going over to Pleasant Valley too, we don't need to go crazy repairing stuff because we're going to find more stuff there as far as clothing. So let's go out here. Normally I don't come out here. It's been a long time. So uh, yeah, when we want to go back in, we have to like go across there. So we'll do that here in a second. But first there's some items to possibly be had around here. Now I need to be careful about looting here because I don't loot here that often. So I could easily miss something. Warm, there we go. Plaid shirt. That'll probably be better than something that I have on, I'm sure. It's Canadian, after all. So it's built for warmth. Hmm. Alright, nothing there. And there's a little area down here. Now there's a wolf that likes to patrol down here. But uh, maybe we can avoid him. We also have a pistol, so we don't need to be Running around like complete scaredy cats. I wonder if there's good stuff under in these crates. You never know, but I mean, it takes so long to break down. What is it, like an hour and a half? Yeah, it's an hour and a half, but barehanded. It won't let me use my uh, hacksaw for that. What's our temp out here now? 16, that's not too hateful, honestly. So we could go down this way. Let me see what this wolf, how, how they have the... Wolf set up here this time. Normally the wolf's down here. 
He kind of patrols back and forth, but I don't see him today. Maybe now would be the time to go, I guess. Uh, I'm sure there's places to loot over there, so maybe we should check that out first. Plus, we could go back inside and then rewarm back up as we come back to this uh, door and then go for it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for Pleasant. I don't know. The weather's changing now, too. We might just want to hang out for a minute, see how things are. All right. Um, I kind of wanted to grab scrap metal, but at the same time, I don't. Okay, okay. Oh, God, don't die. Oh, here it is. Where this broken bit is. Broken bit is staying. I want to get low. Going low and slow. Never. That makes me nervous. I don't know why I've. I had one time I fell off the edge and somehow I spider my spider man my way down to the bottom and didn't get hurt. That was terrifying. This is when you don't want your keyboard to screw up on you. Like this key suddenly starts like getting sticky. Alright, we made it across. There's a deer. How the hell did a deer get up here? How did that happen? That's one crazy deer right there. Alright, let's see here. And again, I go back to what's been chewing on that deer? Up here. Okay, of course there's nothing here. Well, maybe, maybe. <gasps> yes, there is. There is. There's a box. It's going to be an empty box because I was at resources to low. That's okay, though, guys. That's okay. We'll, we'll, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was all right. I left the hat behind. We'll embrace the suck. It's okay. Is there another one in here? Is there? Ooh, nope. Just a lot, whole lot of nothing. All right. Anything down in there? No, nothing up here. All right. I'm starting to get thirsty again. And I'm out of water. Do I have anything? I don't, I don't even have... I could eat peaches and that would help me a little bit, but... Let's go back inside and get more water. Or cook some up or something. We'll figure it out. We won't mess with this deer. Even though it wouldn't be bad to get some leather. Get that starting to cure. Alright. Let's see here. Oh yeah, gotta go this way. We got feathers here though. Four feathers, nice. All right, let's let's go back inside. What have you got for me, backpack? Anything? Ah, oh, some more peaches. Nice, nice peaches. With I think it's this way. I think it's through this window right here. Yep. Leave Winding River. All right, so here's where we come in at. Right where we ended at. <laughs> Okay, so from here we just head on back down again. Is that a can? Nope, that's just a cup. And I'm going to just start a fire and make some water because I need to. And I don't think there's any more toilets to, to raid at this place, so let's go do that. That's a priority. Torch. 46%. I'm going to keep that because we can light that torch to light the fire and that will prevent us from possibly wasting matches. So we're going to take that with us since we are going to start a fire in the near future and I don't have any other torches from previous fires. I have a cat suspiciously lurking around my computer here so if you hear some little chirps or meows I do apologize. We'll just, we'll just all pretend it's a part of the game. Like there's a, a cat somewhere in the in the complex here. Alright, well. Let's leave the lower down dam here. Someone said I... They wanted me to check a little more around this... The wall here or something like that for possible rifle spawn, so we'll do that here in a second. I I know where the rifles usually spawned, at least in the older versions of the game around here. They were kind of over in here, this area. 
I thought I checked it pretty good in the previous episode, but I do rely on you guys a lot with your eyes, so. Let's just check. Did I check up here? I'm not sure if I even checked up here. I don't think I did. Nothing to be had. Around the stairs here, maybe? Is it the stairs? Or the oh, yeah. There's a pistol here. Someone point said this, that there was a pistol down here. 97% condition. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks. Whoever mentioned that in the comments, thank you. It just sort of blended right in there. No. Good eyes. It's the thing about, like, I'm where my eyes are on the screen aren't necessarily where your eyes are, and you'll, you might see something that I don't see. And you got to remember with eyesight, you know, there's like, what is it, like a four degree cone basically that's where you're you're actually looking and everything else you're pretty much legally blind so yeah that's why uh you're always screaming at the tv like why how'd you miss that youtuber guy and uh that's how because uh a lot of times they might not be looking at the exact same spot of the screen that you are okay let's fire this thing up let's burn a book Actually, let's just start that up since we got the uh, torch going. Let's burn some cash, shall we? Tinder. There we go. Let's do it. It's going to be an expensive fire. Do need some water. Do we get it? No, oh, why didn't it work? Because your fire skill is really low. That's why. Yeah, let's burn a book. Let's go Fahrenheit 451 on this one. Come on, little fire. Uh, oh, no luck there, huh? What what are my odds on this one? Get more cash. Another book. It's an 80% chance, and I've struck out twice, or maybe it was a little bit lower because I tried something different. But yeah, all right, sure. Whatever. That's why you want to use that torch because it took me one match to start that torch and now I'm getting multiple chances using that lit torch. Otherwise, I'd be on my third match right now. There we go. That was going to take. Good deal. Okay, let's extinguish this so we can use it again. All right, let's holster that sucker. Uh, let's add some fuel. Uh, let's do uh, let's do a fir wood. Hey, they're hard to burn. A couple of reclaims. There we go. Let's not burn our good good books. Okay. Let's throw this up here. Select that. Max that out. It'll take one hour. Got another cooking slot. Oops. That's not what I want. I want water. Let's do that. This is going to be a lot faster. And then I think that's it. I don't think we have any more. Yeah, we're, we're out of cooking slots. Okay. So we're going to get our immediate relief right here with this one and then one more time to make it potable drink it there we go now we're not thirsty anymore but we still are not completely hydrated so there we go and one more time here Actually, it's going to be a, way more than one more time, but that's all right. Wish I had another pot. Oh, well. It is what it is. I have a snack just for the giggles of it right now. I don't know. Let's eat this one. I feel like a candy bar right now. There we go. That'll help lift the spirits a little bit. I could do a little bit of repairs. Now I'm out of cloth, aren't I? I do have some clothes I could tear up, but I think it would take too long, actually. We might as well just sit here and wait for this. There we go. And we'll do another one of these. Make sure we have a, like a nice gallon. Drink that, but we'll save the rest. Should have somewhere around, I don't know, 0.8 gallons, I think, probably now. 0.7, okay. Pick up some more snow. 
Got an hour left on the fire. 57 there. We're going to need more than that because that's just melting it. So we're going to need another, another something worth... Uh... Oh, do I want to use coal? Could. Be... Let's just use the cedar wood. There we go. That should be perfect. All right. Let me go find some cloth to tear up or something. Or I could read. Let's do that. Let's do a little bit of reading. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, let's read. Where's that at? There we go. Small arms? Yeah, let's do that one. Uh, let's do one hour research. How much time's left here? Real quick. Oh, I need to. I need to take this off. Otherwise, stand by. I'm just going to pick this one up because I'm just going to go with this one from this point. So I'm going to do an hour of reading. Otherwise, the can would have boiled dry. We would have lost that water. So let's just do an hour of reading. I even have some food on board so I can read. That's great. All right. So we got started with that book. And 15 more minutes till it's boiled. Pick that up. Let that burn out. We're good to go. All right. We are running a little bit heavy right now. Where are we at? Probably 75 pounds. 82. Yeah, we're going to have to leave some stuff behind up upstairs here. That's all right. I'm trying to think. Maybe I should go to... A, maybe I should craft my knife and my hatchet before I go over to Pleasant Valley. I could head over to uh, Forlorn Muskeg and do that and then come back. I think I'll do that. But you know what? If I'm going to do that... Here, let's drop some stuff here real quick. I want to go... Oop, not drink. I want to go grab that uh, deer hide off this dead deer here. And I think there's another one out here. And then I'm going to get those two curing inside of here while I'm gone and then hopefully when I come back I can make something out of it like a I don't know what <laughs> I make something okay some bedazzled jeans out of them or something um let's see here I want to drop what am I doing there we go water I'm gonna drop some of this water I'll be coming back through here in a second anyway so it don't matter there now I should be able to there we go we can move a little bit faster I'm going to run out here and get this deer deer hide. Oh, wow. It's almost dark already? Oof. I guess all that cooking water is what ate up most of the day. That's okay, though. Alright, let's... Uh, I'm going to make sure I didn't miss anything down here now. You got me all paranoid about stairs. Looting around stairs. I'm starting to get tired, too. Look at me. Alright, well. It is what it is. Yeah. Now that I got water, I'm going to spend time pulling. I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can skin a deer with just the hacksaw. I don't know if I've ever tried that before. Eh, we're going to find out here in half a second. So, she's talking about fainting. That's not good. What is it out here? 28? Ooh, this would be good traveling weather, honestly. But, uh, that's kind of foggy. I don't like that part, but that's probably why it's warm. The fog always seems to be warmer than just regular blue skies. I see the wolf down there. I don't see him down there. I'm afraid to look down. It's a long ways, man. All right, let's go. The birds are back. Maybe uh, are they here for this guy, or are they below me? They might be flying around below me. Honestly, we're so high up. If there's another carcass down there, or a dead guy, or something. It's hard to say. I don't think if you were injured, like below ten percent, this is the route you'd want to take. 
You're stumbling all over the place. Like you're drunk. This does not seem like it would be a good spot. What is this down here? Is there something down here? Nope. Okay. Alright. Let's head over here. You guys didn't bring me more feathers, did you? Not yet. Alright, can I do this? I can. It's going to take me an hour. And it's 28 degrees, so that's not bad. Let's do it. See how slow this is going right here? That's what I want right there. Alright, let's grab some meat. Uh, it's going to take 11 minutes and some guts. Might as well because we're going to need that for crafting anyway. This might start kicking, dropping real fast. Oh, it slowed down real fast. It started and then it slowed down. So somehow it warmed up suddenly here. All right. Oh, hey. So they're starting to drop feathers again. At least we got feathers in this series this time. Is there a fourth one? Maybe over here. Yep, there it is. All right, we got all the feathers. Let's head back in. It's deja vu. Cold and tired. Hungry. Not thirsty this time. Ooh, it's dark in here. Um, hmm. No, I'm just going to bump into things. If I keep going this way. Uh, and I don't want to use a match, so I think maybe I'll just sleep here until morning. I have water. I have food. I just need to find a place where I can actually lay my bedroll down. And let's go ahead and drop my deer carcasses here, my deer hides. That way they start curing. And those are my deer, my deer hide, I guess it's singular. Deer guts would be plural. Okay, now let's see if we can find a place for my sleeping bag where it will let me... Okay, I know I came in over here, maybe? You gonna let me, let me sleep somewhere. This is, this is how you this is how you find your way around when uh, you don't have <laughs> when you don't have a anything like a torch or anything. Oh oh oh! There we go. <laughs> how how horrible! Stumbling around in the dark. Let's eat some tomato soup and some ketchup chips. Let's just go for tomato full on tomato tonight. Uh, I don't want, maybe I should eat something else if it's about to go bad. Uh, 23, moldy be sure. We can eat that probably pretty safely. I'm not sure though. <laughs> uh, stale, moldy, stale. Let's do the ketchup. Yeah, let's do those too. Nice to have the can opener. I do like that a lot. Kind of get a little bit of hydration out of that too. Have you had your V8 today? Short answer, yes, we have. I think we're pretty good. Close, close. Uh, yeah, I should have been picking up more cattails, shouldn't I? Eh, let's have a new chocolate bar. It's only 250 calories. I'm just looking at the calories on that on that one. I could have stopped eating about halfway through and probably saved a few calories, but that's all right. Okay, so we're super tired. It's nighttime. Let's just sleep for 10. Let me double check something. Yep, we're good. Okay, let's sleep for 10. Or try to. Oh, Aurora. Hopefully I'm not sitting on... <gasps> hopefully I'm not sitting on uh, exposed wires. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I got lucky. <laughs> I got super lucky. What do you mean? It's Look at that sun. What do you mean? Pick that sucker up. Oh, come on. You mean I can't see anything yet? Oh, gosh. Wait, wait, like 15 minutes and I'll be there. There we go. Okay. So as long as we can see everything. Yes, yeah, so let's let it cure on a big pile of snow. It 10%. That seems fast. Does it cure faster in stalker mode? I don't know. Seems like it. I mean, it cured 10% in like overnight. That seems really fast. All right. All right. Well, yeah, I think I think the smart play is to go for forlorn muskeg. Get our get our gear there, and we'll, we'll hit some of the spots just off the road as we go through Mystery Lake here, or whatever route I decide to take. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll take the back way through the clear cut. As yet to be decided. Maybe I'll go through the lake. 
Don't normally go that way. Could do that, just go through the lake. That might be interesting. As long as we don't run into any wolves on the little creeks that the feeder rivers that go down to the lake. But, alright. Could grab some more cloth, but we're going to be alright. We'll grab that later. I'm, I'm a little heavy right now. And as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and get a drink. Starting to get a little thirsty. Alright. Up to the top, here we go. I think that was a smart play. Getting that deer hide. Because that... It's going to be nice to have some deer pants or some deer boots. Um, definitely help us stay warmer. A lot warmer. Oh, there's, eh, I'm going to leave the reclaim. You know what? Let's put that up here. Oh, I can't put it up there? Just for the sake of visibility? Alright. Oh, that's pretty visible. Okay. It's kind of hidden down there a little bit. All right, we'll offload quite a bit of our gear at the door here. Now, I wonder when we go out to the map, to the exterior map, if it's going to show that spray paint or not on the inside. That's going to be an interesting little test. Okay, there we go. We are definitely heavy. This is where you need to refuel your lantern fuel. I wish, right? You can get some gas from there. Uh, we already hit all those. I don't think there's anything left there. So let's go ahead and drop our deer hide here. Not the cured leather. Not that. Hold on. Pick that up. That's not what we want to pick. Or drop. Let's drop the deer hide and the two guts slightly off here. One, two. Um, let's head on outside. I'll drop the meat outside. That way it's very visible. It's two degrees out here. It's going to suck trying to, trying to, uh, there we go. It's going to suck trying to get this deer hide off, but we might get a little hypothermic. That's okay. Yeah, negative 22. We're going to, it's going to suck bad out here. Yeah. Can we get behind cover? Protected? Yes, slightly. We are protected. Okay. As long as it doesn't shift, let's just try this. Yeah, we're going to get a little cold. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's still cold. We'll run in, warm up, come out, do what we got to do, grab the other items. It's a nice day, though. It just needs to warm up. It's still early in the day. Maybe that's part of it. Grab some more meat off of there. Have a, nice, a couple nice pieces of meat here waiting for us for our return voyage. We should be good to go. There's that deer. Let's drop that. The deer hide. We got two of them going. All right. Good stuff. All right. We're going to just hang out in here. Um, let me find some cloth. I want, to, I want to do some clothing repair. That'll help with the cold weather. Um, I just need to find... There was some hanging down off a railing back there, but I don't want to walk all the way back there. I think there's some in here somewhere. Here's got... Uh, oh, there's some right there. There we go. Six minutes, one piece of cloth. Okay. I figured there'd be more than that, but whatever, boss. Might as well do this while we're warming up. Uh, I am wearing this, so... Okay. Do I want to repair the... I still don't know. I do want to repair these. Okay, we'll get to that here in a second. We'll do that here in a second. Repair? Yep. Plus, they're, very, they're pretty good with protection, too, so that'll help prevent injury. It's not all about staying warm. Some some of it's, you know... Oh, come on. Really? My repair skill sucks. Should be better than this. Uh, cloth anywhere? Hello? Uh, nope. 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 Nothing. 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 There's going to be something in here, I bet you. I bet you there's something in here. Yep, oh, spray paint. I forgot about that. Hmm. Okay. Let's check in here. Control room. You gotta have some sort of cloth in here, right? Uh, 
Oh, come on. Yeah, no cloth at all. Probably upstairs. That big office area. I've seen you cloth. You're right here somewhere. Probably on one of these chairs hanging off the back of it or something. Or not. Not used to having to search for cloth in these buildings. I normally just use curtains. But this building doesn't have any windows. Therefore, no curtains. Are you kidding me? Really? Really? What about the flag? The Canadian? Oh, no way. No way they'd let me do that. <laughs> We do have boundaries to our survival, to what we'll do to survive. It's all, come on, man. It's only the Canadian flag. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm teasing. I'm joking, guys. Joking. Put the keyboard down. Put the keyboard down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing. Yeah, wait, wait. Did I see something in the corner right here? Let me take a look here. No, nothing there. Okay, well, hmm. I guess we'll just go with what we got. We'll get more, more cloth elsewhere. That's fine. No big deal. Probably if you break that down, you do get some cloth. Yeah, but it's going to take almost two and a half hours. You get the same amount of cloth. It's the same time? You get four there and you get six there. Wow, that's a much better deal. That doesn't seem proportionate. What about this one? Yeah, it's about the same. Alright, well. I could probably go over to those trailers and get... I'm sure there's a bedroll in there I can get like ten cloth from. Uh, hmm. Or I can just grab some meat, come back in. Good God. The weather's cold. What's going on? What's going on here, folks? Am I behind cover? I am behind cover. I'm just a frozen little bush. Dig, ignore me. Let's let's get some of the meat here. 14 minutes. Eh, that's not too bad. Must be pretty good behind cover. 17, yeah, that's not bad. We'll run back and drop this meat. Right here. I know, I can drop it as a decoy, but... Oops. But my fear is that... Whenever I drop it as a decoy, if there's a wolf in the area, it's going to start coming this way. I don't know if dropping it straight out of inventory doesn't make it seem like a decoy. That's just something I do because I'm I don't know and I'm scared of what I don't know. Um All right, this is past time. Warm up just a little bit here. Okay. How about the full hour? There we go. What's the temp out here? Oh, 14 now? Not even behind cover? Well, I guess there is no real wind to speak of now, so that's that's why it's 14. Alright, let's grab some guts. Oh, what's going on here? You see all those shadows? We weather's changing. Yeah, that's what that was. Oh, I tried to put my head headphones on. I have, like, my... I have my right ear of my headphones like partially on and off so I can listen, see if there's any problems in the house or something like that. Kids getting up in the middle of the night needing, I don't know, tucked back in or something. So I missed that wolf. He's out there somewhere. I just didn't get a really good audio direction on him. Okay, so there we go. Let's drop these guts in here too. And we'll warm up a bit. Go from here. Okay. I'm pretty happy with all this. 
the way things are going. Um, I do need to let it warm up, warm up a bit. I'm going to go for the uh, one of these two trailers. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some sort of cloth in one of them. So let's go try that. I do want to get some, some of these repaired up a little bit. I know. I know. We're gonna We're gonna pull out the pistol here. Be very careful not to misfire, but just or not misfire. Accidental discharge. Yes, pillows. Oh nope. Wait, curtains, pillows. There's got to be. There's got to be cloth in here. <gasps> yes, a pillow. Requires a hunting knife to break down. What? I can't use a hacksaw. Oh, there we go. At least we had one piece of cloth just laying there. Well, let's try to fix something with this. All right. Uh, what do we want to try to fix? I want to try getting this thing on too. Okay, let's do this wool sweater. Wait a minute. Plaid shirt, plaid shirt. Four. Plaid shirts might be better. If I double up these, maybe. Armor's not as good. I don't think it really matters. They seem pretty similar. Well, let's repair one of these since it's higher already. It's got a higher starting point. So let's do that. Hey, we actually did it. I'm shocked. All right, let's put that on. Not that one. We want the better one. Where's the better one? That's the better one. I should have done the wool sweater. I should have done I screwed up. Oh, I screwed up. I did the wrong one. We can tear these up. Mm, yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's harvest this. I forgot I was carrying around all this extra weight, basically. Um... We're going to keep that one. Well, no, no, no. 74. Right, let's, let's repair this one. As she warms up. There we go. So there we go. Let's put... Uh, let's put... They're both on. Really close. In. Okay, we're going to tear these two up. And we'll repair something else. And we'll rinse and repeat. Sweater. Yeah. Yeah, definitely screwed up. All right, let's tear this one up. There we go. Let's go back here, see what needs next. It needs to be repaired next. Um, probably the boots, even though I don't want to, because I want to make my own boots. What does it take to make the boots? Deerskin boots. Needs a sewing kit, workbench, two gear. I'm, see, I'm gonna I'm gonna make those with the guts that I have in the, in 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 here. I'm trying to think if there there is a workbench downstairs inside the Carter Hydro Dam, so I can do it all there. So I'm not going to waste the resources on that. Because I'm going to make these. And they will be way better. That's 4.5 warmth bonus. Way better than what I got. So if I find better boots, that's cool. If not, it's fine too. So let's not worry about the boots. Let's see about the gloves. Because those gloves are pretty decent. 
a cured leather. That's no, not even requiring cloth. I can do that. Let's do that. It's going to take 30 minutes. Not bad. Oh, I should have drank something first, but that's okay. Not that big a deal. Drop the ball on that, but that's okay. All right, so now those are repaired. Let's go and wear those. If we're gonna do all that work. Might as well repair. Sixty-seven percent condition. Let's throw those on. Nice armor rating on those. Four percent protection. We're up to seventeen percent. That's pretty good. All right. Let's see what I can get into next here. The light shell. Yeah. Let's go and repair that. Before dark. Nice. And now let's see what our wind proof. Warmth bonus is up to 14%. I like that. I like it a lot. I'll make sure I'm not missing wearing anything, which I've done before many times. Okay, looks good. I, I'm pretty happy with where we're at. Maybe do the socks. Let's do that. Should get us up to 100% on these socks. Starting to get dark. Cool. Might move over to the other trailer. Make sure I'm loaded. Oh, this is the unloaded one. Ooh, I pulled out the unloaded one. That's weird. I figured you'd pull out the loaded one. Oh, man. That could get... It just pulls out one? There's three. Yeah, it's just pulling out one. I'm going to unload the other one. I'm going to have to, like, stow the other one because that, that can be... That could get confusing and dangerous. All right, I want this one. This is the one I have in my hand. It's got the check mark. This is the one that I don't have. No check mark up here. So, or whatever this is, triangle. So, actions. Yeah, don't tease me. Don't tease me. Let's unload that. That was it? Wish I could clean. Okay. So, let me double check. Make sure that when I put it away and I bring it back out, it's actually the loaded one. It is. So it defaults to the highest condition weapon. All right. Let's be careful while exiting. That's all we gotta be. 29 degrees is pretty nice. I might actually, might actually make a move. As warm it is, as it is. What's my temp at? Or my carry capacity? Not very good. We need to offload here. We need to go back up here and offload. All right, let's holster. I think I'm gonna drop my stuff right here. Well, it's very visible. So I'm gonna drop those tin cans. Don't need all those. Um, honestly, don't need two of these at the moment. Uh, probably don't need two of these. They're a pound each. What stone we can keep that? Stones, we can pick those up anytime. So we're gonna get rid of those. Uh, keep that, uh, let's drop this pistol here, the empty one. Empty, empty, everybody agreed, yes. Lowest, uh, I can't believe that's 97. Thank you so much for finding that for me. You guys, I appreciate it. Let's take a look at the weight, what we got here. 14 sticks, let's move over just a little bit. Let's drop like all those sticks, we don't need those. Uh, five lumps of coal. Don't really need that many coal yet because we're not going to be... Mm. How much is that? Three pounds? We are going to be going over to Forlorn Rusty Egg. We probably will want to keep that. Let's see here. Don't need this many need to buy out our antiseptics, so we'll get rid of those. I'll keep that since I am going over there. Uh, let's see here. Nine of those. I could probably actually work on that tonight. Clothes, torch. Don't need to be carrying those. I can break those down for cloth, though. 
Don't need that, probably. What are we down to? 57? That's pretty That's pretty decent. Alright, I'm liking that. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can maybe make it somewhere else. She's very tired, though. She's about to She's about to not be able to run at all. So we can't move. We cannot move. Today. I mean, in a couple minutes, she's going to be like there. Uh, it'll all be red. I won't be able to run at all. So if we get a, a jam, we'll have to shoot our way out. That's just be a waste of ammo. So that's just, it's not worth getting a jump on tomorrow's travels. I'm glad I noticed that, how tired she is. It's a shame though, but that's alright. But what I can do is I can go in here and bust up those uh, mittens, get some cloth from those. I can't do any actual repairs because it's dark, but at least I can destroy these mittens. Maybe anything else that doesn't look like this that I'm not wearing. Why am I not wearing that? Because I have something better, I think, right? Then the, sh the scarf, that's a cotton scarf, that's a wool scarf, yeah. It's going to be way better. Okay, so. Let's see here, let's tear these up. There we go, got that taken care of. Let's tear this one up. It's just sitting up there, not doing anything for us. Get two out of that, that's pretty good. And yeah, we're going to be nice and tired for for bed tonight. That's going to be good. We like that because then we get solid sleep, which is more restorative than bad sleep. Well, you're about to lay down right there. Just give me a couple more minutes and your wish will be granted. So we got four pieces of cloth. That's good. And I thought there was something else. Was there something else? Am I missing? Mm, maybe not. Maybe that was it. Nope, mittens. Another mitten. I thought there was another item to harvest. And we should be close to 100% when we wake up in the morning. Once we eat, drink, and... Uh, but first, what I want to do is this. Let's see if we can harvest up a little bit of this here real quick. Uh, I'm trying to think how I do that. Yep, that, there. Prepare birch bark. Let's do that. It's going to take 20 minutes to do four of those. Let's do that. Wonderful. Old man's beard dressing. Make three of those bandages. Take 45 minutes. You can see this ticking down. So tired. Hungry. <laughs> there we go. Prepared mushrooms. Let's do two of those. Now we have everything prepared. And when we wake up, it should be daytime. And it will be the next the start of the next episode, too. So, I do, hey, guys, I do really appreciate, I don't know what you guys are doing out there. Sharing it, liking it, I don't know, but I got like 18,000 views in the last video in like the first couple days. And it was off the chain, like 200 new subscribers in one day. It's crazy. So, I do really appreciate that, first of all. Whatever you're doing, keep it up. Share this, share this series um, with anybody that might like it. I don't know. Whatever you're doing, just keep it up. So, now that we're done there, let's go ahead and... Um, what do we want to have tonight? I think we're going to have some peaches. I think we should. Those are a little sketchy. I think we're not going to have those. Because I don't want to get sick right now. We're, we're, we're starting to hit our stride. We don't want to get sick right now. Uh, I think we're okay with beef jerky. I don't think that'll ever make you sick. But I'm a little, still a little ske skeptical. You never know what's going to happen in one update from the from like one update to the next. So something that was okay to do a month ago suddenly isn't okay to do. And if you don't read the change log exactly that that part of it, you miss out on it. So and I don't read the change logs every time, especially after taking like a month and a half off. Okay, there we go. Everything's looking good here. Wonderful. Let's go ahead. And, let's go and find our nice comfy spot. Here, let's go ahead and sleep for 10. Looks good to me. I'll see you guys in the morning. Should be almost 100% health. Let's see. Yep, 100% health. Wonderful. Three days, three hours, 49 minutes. And it's nice and sunny. Let's pick this up. All right, guys. On that note, I shall bid you adieu. Like, comment, subscribe, share. 
comment <laughs> comment again I don't know but thank you and I'll see you guys in episode 3 oh the weather sucks I'm going back inside